Okay, so basically we're going to four. Why are we going to four? Well, to, to recap from uh, the beginning of the wiring diagram, we're going to program output one. Why output one? Because here I'm saying you want to heat for output one. So output one is basically here. So that's output one. So I've got 24 volts going to eight. If I set my temperature to 25 and it's 21 degrees, I have an error. This is my set point. This is my process value. Okay, this, so this is the actual temperature. Well, I want 25. What's going to happen? I have an error. It's going to close the contact here. I'm going to get 24 volts going to pin seven. Pin seven is going to activate the SSR. The SSR will send power to my light bulb. And that's why I'm on four. Remember that this is the wire that can be moved from three to four, depending if I'm heating with the SSR or the proportional relay. Are we good with that? So, sir, uh, basically, it's wire um, four either goes on the SSR if it's being the SSR is being used, or if the proportional is being used, we move it to three. Whatever's being used, we move it to uh, yes. its terminal. Yeah. So, aren't okay. you missing? And, and, and so, what you have to make sure of here is is two things: that this wire is here, and that this wire is here. Both, not just one, both. And does um and does the wire of seven stay there no matter what? Yes, the the top. Yes. Yeah, the tile. And, the, and the just top. just to make sure that you know and remember that from eight we have a wire going to the fan, right? right. So eight is cool. So that's why output one, as we said last week, was is good for heating and cooling. So if we're gonna cool, well, this wire that's going on seven is gonna go to eight. Okay. So and there's it's not, not, there's sure, not much it's, wiring. Go ahead, Lucas. It's, it's always like this, yes. like between seven and eight, always, and three and four. Yeah, doesn't. Change. That's the way this board was set up for you. So why your troubleshooting isn't that difficult? No. No, it, it, sure, it's 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 wiring, up. but it's also programming and configuring. Go ahead, okay. Noah. Can you just scroll up a bit so I can see like the, the SSR and all that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Sir, I'm just not grasping the line going to eight, the purple one. This is going to your fan. This one here. Okay, but, but in the first lab, we didn't have a fan. Yeah, I know. I'm just showing you a, kind yeah, of a yeah. reminder. So we, we did this in a previous class. Actually, there's a video for that as well. Uh, but th this, we have four scenarios. This lab here is only one of the four. So okay. eventually you will have a lab where you're cooling with output one. Actually, it's the next lab we're going to be looking at where this wire will have to go to eight. So I'm just showing you that these wires here, eight and seven, do not move. These wires here, three and four, do not move. What does move is okay, okay. this wire going from three to four or this wire going from seven to eight, depending okay. on what you want to do. Good? Okay. This we're not going to get into now. Uh, well, well, you know what? Yes, let, let's do one. We're not going to do um, all, both patterns, just one. So we have two patterns. So this one here will be pattern zero. Remember, you don't start at one. You start at zero. Okay. And each one will have four steps. So this basically is what you're going to use to program. When you're in program mode, you're gonna, it's going to ask you how many steps. You're going to say four, and then it's going to prompt you to enter four. So let me give you the values here on the left-hand side, and then uh, I'll show you how to plot them. So let's just say we're starting at 25 degrees. It's going to ask you for time zero. Let's say time zero, we put in 30, okay, which is basically 30 seconds. So this is seconds, and up here we have degrees. Set point one. Uh, let's go to 50 degrees. So set point one goes with time one. Let's go with uh, 15 seconds here. These are all just random numbers. Um, I will try to keep it more or less near room temperature. We'll see what happens with 50. It's not really going to hit 15 in 15 seconds, but uh, the goal here is to run the program and see if the alarms are set off, see if it's heating or cooling. So let's go to set point two. We'll go down to 40 degrees. 
Time two. 20 seconds. Can you mute your phones, guys, please? Set point three goes to 20 degrees. And time three, uh, 25 seconds. So these are your four steps. So we're going to execute just once, and we're going to choose minutes and seconds. So set point. Set point here is going to be 25. Wait, sir, I had a question about SP0. Like SP0, it says 25, but like it starts at zero? No, it's going to start at 25. Okay, it starts at 25, okay. Yeah. So here I'm just going to go in increments of 10 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. I'm just going to write down the values here. So 25, then our goal is to get to 50. Then our goal is to go down to 40. And then 20 degrees. time. So this is in seconds. We've got 30 seconds here. Got 15. Just going to put an S for seconds. Twenty. And twenty-five. Okay, so this is step zero, step one, step two, step three. Now we did previously a lab where step zero was just on the y-axis, but that's because we had no time, but now we have 30 seconds. Okay? So if we have 30 seconds, it means we're actually staying there. So where's 25? Right here for, 20, for 30 seconds. So that's basically a straight line. Okay. Then our goal is to get to 50. So we set our 50 here. This is our goal to get to 50, but we're at 25. So we have to get to 50 in 15 seconds. Again, these are just examples, okay? So this, to get to, from 25 to 50 in 15 seconds, our bulb is gonna be very, very uh, bright? Well, this we're just using on off. So yes, it's gonna be bright. You only have to look at the intensity of the light bulb if you're using proportional control. That's when your your bulb is going to dim depending oh, on what the okay. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Sir, I thought you said for SP zero, you don't put it in the in the steps part. You just plot it. Well, that's what I finished saying before. If I if my times here is zero, oh. then I just start. But since I have thirty seconds, it means that I want to start at twenty five, but I want to keep it there for thirty seconds. Oh, okay, okay, that makes so sense. So it all it all depends on this. All right. So here I'm going down to 40. And then back down to 20. Okay, so just let me know if you're having difficulties grasping this. It's you're just plotting those numbers there. Okay. Like you did in a previous exercise. The exercise on the E5AKT. Why is the first one a straight line? So like I just finished explaining to Noam, this time zero is 30 seconds. So I'm starting at 25, but I'm staying at 25 for 30 seconds. In previous examples, I put time zero to zero seconds. So if you put time zero to zero seconds, you're basically starting at 25, but you're, you're moving on to the next set point right away. So in that case, this would be set point one, two, and three, and set point zero will be right on the y-axis. We're going to go back to doing one of those later on, okay? But this, for now, I want you to plot this so you have an example of it.
Okay, guys, are we done? We're not going to plot the second one. Just to save a bit of time. We're going to plot that eventually when we get back to class. Okay, now this is like the last step of when we um, were programming the drive. What you want to do here is highlight. So what are we highlighting? Number of steps. Whatever we're using, we're highlighting. So number of steps. Based on the criteria I gave you, how many number of steps are we programming? One, two, three, four. 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 You put four. Okay. That's what you're going to be programming. What else do we have to program here in program mode? So again, this is program mode. Well, your actual set points here, you will have to program. Okay, but don't put that here. This basically, this information here, this right here, is your graph. This is what we just did right here. So you don't need to write it down in numbers. You have it right here visually, graphically. So here what you can write down is you have your graph. So we do have alarms to program. We have alarm number one and three. Do you remember what we uh, programmed for three and one? Yeah, two and three. Which one is two, which one is three? Uh, three is one and uh, two is three. That's a little confusing. Three is one and one is three. So alarm, alarm value one is how many degrees? Uh, what was it four? No, two. That's, was let's it? go up. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. So here we had alarm. Alarm three is four. Alarm one is two. So alarm oh, three is four. Alarm three is four, and alarm one was two. Okay. I'm just going to put degrees so you know what they stand for. So it's as simple as this. Just go through and make sure that you don't forget anything. After those two values, we're going to go down to setup. Okay, so we're not using we're not using level one yet. That's that'll be for proportional control. Okay. We're not using level two. We are doing quite a bit in setup. So what are we doing? Do we need input type? Yes, it's the first thing we actually did on that page. What are we programming it for at J2? And what we wrote down on the first page was J2 is associated with a five. A quick reminder here, that's on page 531. Everyone following? Or am I going too quick? Well, I'm trying to find the input type on this paper. I can't find it. Here. Is it? Are you talking about uh, th this lab? Here. No, 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 like on the table. On the table, I can't find the uh, word. It... Oh, it's here. Okay, I found it. Got it. So but we're just basically transcribing all of this stuff here. Okay. So I'm going to need your help instead of me going back and forth. All of this information here, it's basically all going into the pages um right here okay we're just going to highlight it so that it, it pops when we have to program it it'll be a lot easier uh degree units was another one i'm just going to go and highlight and then i'm going to fill in the um uh, fill in the last column we're using output one we are not using output two for this lab here, but we are using sub one, sub two. Uh, we're using alarm type one, and we're also using alarm type three. So there's quite a bit to program under setup. And again, we did all the work. Right now we're just transcribing, we're just copying. Degree units, 
Well, I had asked for Celsius, so it's going to be Celsius. Output one is programmed for heat. Sub one, can anyone uh, go back to that page? What is sub one? What do we use it for? Was it alarm three or alarm one? Alarm three. Thank you. So alarm three, which means that sub two was alarm one. We are not using alarm two. <clears throat> Alarm type one, excuse me. <clears throat> alarm type one. What was alarm type one being used for? Upper, lower? Uh, it was lower, uh, yeah. I think. Oh. Lower, right? Lower, which was three. Someone can go back to that page and just confirm that it was a three. And alarm type three was two. It's on the yeah. first page. Yeah. Good. That's, yeah, that's it. So again, all we're doing here is just rewriting. We did all the work on that first page. Now we're just taking it and, and writing it down. And then when we program, we use this list and just go in order. Anyone need a bit more time on this page? This is one of the first labs we're going to be doing when we get back. So make sure it's ready. Wait, sorry, Claudio, could you just go back to set up for two seconds? Thank you. Good to go? Yeah, it's good. Thanks. Okay. What about expansion? Well, we need expansion for sure. We have control, right, on off. I'm going to go in and write that in after. Uh, eventually, we'll look at power on, which we discussed, and condition, but not for this lab. Time units. Uh, right now, we're not concerned. Actually, yes, it wasn't mentioned, but. We're going to want to run both patterns. All we're doing now, time-wise, we just filled in one pattern, but we have two, so we're going to run them all. So we will have to program that. And, and that's about the bulk of it, actually. So now control type, all you have to write here is on off. And that's what you're actually selecting on the E5AKT, on off. Time units, just to test our our programs will always be on minutes and seconds. And run all, all you have to do is go on, on. Remember, you're not typing anything in here. You're using up, down arrow keys. Your choices are there. You're just scrolling and seeing what your choices are. You've only got two, on and off. So once you press on, it'll run pattern zero followed by pattern one. As long as repeat is on one. If repeat is on zero, it'll skip that one then. Not too bad as, as far as a lab. It, it kind yeah. of like the lab basically encompasses everything we've done so far. So we looked at the modes, uh, how to scroll between modes and parameters, how to change them. Uh, then the previous class, we looked at how to wire. So that's also integrated here as well, because okay, you have to choose between uh, the SSR or cooling or the uh, proportional heater. So it's all, there's only two wires you can move. And that's it. Then you run it, then you test it. Okay. This 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 one here actually doesn't have an alarm. Eventually, we'll have alarms programmed as well. So this is telling you where to wire up the thermocouple on terminals 11 and 12. So we'll have two thermocouples. We have a J2, which has got a yellow jacket, and we have a K2, which has a blue jacket. Okay. So that's sure. That is the bulk of it. Yes. Sure. Quick question: uh, Do we? Um... Just uh, to confirm, do we uh, graph our alarms? Like uh, eventually, we eventually, what we'll do when I do give you an alarm, okay, let's say I give you a at minus two, I'll say. Well, actually, or zero let me, degrees. Let me correct what I said. I said I didn't give you an alarm. You do have an alarm. So you have an upper lower uh, alarm. You what you would do is you would actually put it right here. 
Uh, what was the alarm value for alarm one? Was it four, four degrees, degrees or? So you're going to put four degrees here, and alarm three was two degrees. Okay. Which one was the upper, the four or the two? Four. Four degrees. So what we're going to do here is you're going to you're going to show basically a line. It doesn't have to be proportional. Okay. But basically a line above and a line below showing you those alarms. So what you have okay. in red there is your actual set point, and this basically gives an idea of your alarms. Let's say you had an upper. Let's say you had an upper alarm of uh, <clears throat> 60 degrees, an absolute upper alarm. Well, then you would show that as a straight line going across here, and whenever you cross the 60 degrees, okay, so you'd be showing it here on the graph. So it was a good question. Okay. okay. 